You've come to the right place this morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke. We're now all the way over into chapter 24. We're just looking at one verse today. It's one of the most amazing verses in the Bible. And so we're going to look at verse 3. Let's read it. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. So remember the setup here. Jesus dies on the cross. They take his body down. They put it in the tomb. That the Sabbath comes. It's sundown Friday night. They wait. They uh, prepare the spices right up to that time. And then they stop. They keep the seventh day at the Sabbath holy. Early, early, early Sunday morning, the first day of the week. As soon as there's enough light, they, they've finished their preparation with the spice spices they're going to use to anoint the body of Jesus, the dead, deceased body of Jesus. And they go up very early. There's just a little bit of light. There's just enough light. They go up there early to the grave. And as we saw yesterday morning, they, 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 as they walk out into, this, into the clearing, they see that the, 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 the stone's been rolled away. The tomb is standing open. And so today we just look at this verse. And they go and they actually look in the tomb where the body of Jesus, they saw, if you go back a couple of verses, we find out they, they watched and saw how and where the body was laid. Here they look into the open tomb. They didn't open it, but they look into the open tomb and Jesus' body is missing. What's going on with that? Uh, and this is, this is kind of a tragedy. This is like somebody's come and desecrated the grave. And they're trying to figure out what even to think about it. What has happened? Has somebody carried away his body? What have they, what have, you know, there's a lot of malice among the priests and so on, right? So, yeah, there was probably a lot of suspicion about what happened just next, what had happened after that. And so here they find an empty tomb. And here is where, you know, Christianity differs altogether from every other, every other religion there is, right? Uh, Jesus died and he rose from the dead. He is God. He had power in himself, power original, unborrowed, underived. He himself was God, God from eternity. And now he's been crucified. His the body, he dies, and then his body is resurrected and he is gone. And he's, we're going to see him before we're done. He's, he's further on in chapter 24. But Jesus has walked out of the tomb. And you can go through every other kind of religious figure or religious idea or person, the religions of the East, in, in Buddha and Shintoism, ancestor worship. You can look at Muhammad and Islam and, and all these other different kinds of religion and so on, the religions, different religions in India and here and there. You can look at the secular religions, you know, these religions that supposedly are not religions, but they're, they're humanistic plans where basically today we have this transhumanism where the government and science and the medical cartel, they're going to they're gonna more, more or less be God for us and kind of decide how everything works and run the world. And we're just going to have to say, yes, sir. And guess what? There's no empty tomb there. There's no empty tomb in any of those. But in the religion of Christianity, the tomb is empty. Why? Because God is the creator of the universe. Jesus was the agent of creation. He was one of the three persons of the Godhead. He is one of the three persons. And he rises from the grave and he lives forevermore. Do you know that the, the Jesus who I serve, the Jesus who is my king and yours, he is alive today. He is on the throne in heaven. He is my high priest today. And so I serve a risen savior. He is in the world today. He is alive. I don't serve a dead person say, well, he was wise. He had witty sayings. He, he told great stories. His parables were really remarkable. We never really saw anything like it before or since. And he's dead now, but, uh, but yeah, we just honor him because, no, <laughs> no, take that away. That's not it. We as Christians today, we serve a risen Savior. Jesus is alive today. We will meet him in glory. Those days are days, glory days. They're just ahead of us, just ahead of us, friend. Be encouraged because today we see in the Gospel of Luke the empty tomb. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that unlike every other religion, every single one, unlike them all, Jesus lives. May we serve our risen Savior day by day by day in this cold and dark world. Thank you for the warmth and love of Jesus. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And because he lives, he's coming back, and it won't be long at all. God's blessings be upon you today.